This video is sponsored by ITS. I'm Dave. I'm Steve. I'm Dad. And I'm Son. Welcome to another episode of DJ Projects, episode 35. So welcome to another episode at DNJ Projects and this week we are on a massive, massive fencing job. It's a big one, 85 bays, give or take, not sure if it's exact, might be a little bit more, a little bit less. Don't forget my snap. I want to say a massive thank you to everyone for watching and liking last week's video. We are over 3,000 likes now I believe. And it's less than 24 hours so massive massive thank you to everyone that's been watching everyone that has been supporting we even brought finn out for this one we're having in a few more bodies on deck to help with this fencing but the light goal for today's video it's a massive fencing job so let's set a massive light goal let's aim for 5,000 for likes we were so close last time over 4,500 I believe. So if we can hit 5,000, wicked. If not, I still appreciate you being here anyway. Me and Finn are about to drop off some materials, some tools, and then come back and then get some more, and then probably more, and Taft's gonna bring some as well. So once we get there, once we've dropped off a few things, we'll show you what we're up to. So here we are. We are on the big, big fencing job. Quite a few materials there, some materials there. We've got our trusty JCB digger, but we've also got one on higher that is coming this week. It's gonna be a busy one. This is gonna be a busy one indeed. I'll just show you all the first stage of this fencing job. So big reds here, and it's starting to pull the hedge out. Hopefully it can do it. If not, like I say, we've got that digger and another one coming, a much bigger one. Just getting warmed up for this the first part of this fencing job it runs all the way down there you see that down there that is around 50 ish meters i believe so we worked it out anyway all of that side that head is coming out those conifers they're staying but can you see how they've been cut we're just putting a fence up to that see the gap down there around about three foot we're either putting a four or five foot fence all the way across here. I believe we might be taking this out, those shrubs out, shrubs in the center there, quite a lot of shrubs. So all of this fencing is coming down as well. The lads are starting to load out a few of the materials so that we're ahead of the game when it comes to actually needing some materials. There's gonna be a six foot fence running all the way across the back as well. And the beauty of this one here, there's some stumps to come out as well. There's quite a few stumps to come out in fairness. Have a look at these. Oh my God. All of these stumps have got to come out. I'm not sure if we're running. You see that brick wall there, that wall to this wall here. We're not going to run off that. That's just not worth the hassle. But I believe this is this customer's as well. I don't know how far back his land actually goes. You can see how the trees sort of do this. I believe we're gonna distinguish a straight line and I believe we're gonna go from the end of the brick wall to that brick wall there. As you can see, if we are coming in a little bit on his garden, I don't think he's gonna miss it because he has got bags and bags of room here. As mentioned earlier, this video is sponsored by our good friends at ITS. And did you know right now, they're having a massive Black Friday sale. And there's going to be new deals added every single Friday. And you've got to be fast, because they'll go fast. And just to let you know, it ends Monday the 6th of December. So you better be quick, because you've only got a couple of weeks. So, for anyone new to the channel who want to know about ITS, they're an online tool store. A little bit like Screwfix, a little bit like Tool Station, when we're beating on price. Did you know they've got over 21,000 five-star Trust Pilot reviews? So another cool feature, if you order by 7 p.m., it's next day deliverer. I'd just like to say a massive thank you to ITS for sponsoring this video. And remember, act fast, because the sale will end soon. As you can see, this customer's having some work done. Obviously, it's a project. So anything that you see for the house, the garden, everything is getting done. Another part of the fence, starting from that wall there, all of this hedge and shrub is coming out. 
and again this one is around about 50-ish meters it goes all the way up there it looks like it stops here where this hedge is but it doesn't all of this is coming out as well i believe so as you can see the garden just keeps continuing all of this here is coming out and this is the boundary between our customer and the neighbor you can see there's holes all over the hedgerow anyway the dogs are getting in and out from each other's which isn't a problem but at the same time privacy is needed for both sets of customers it's going to be around about the same height six foot and it works its way all the way up to the corner so we'll be six foot around about there and where the conifer has been trimmed like i mentioned around about a four or a five foot fence across there it works out to around about 85 days. Of course, give or take a few bays. It'd be impossible to measure this really, get the most accurate measurement, but we think it's around about 85. And as always, first thing is first, we need to get that hedge out so we can actually start putting a fence in and transforming this garden. And as you can see, this one is putting up a bit of a fight, but we're gonna get her out. I told you we'd get her out. So this is what we're working with. Of course, Dad's gonna go down here with a digger, scrape everything back correctly, and get all these little ones out of the way. But to get the ball cart, we're trying it with a grub. It'll either work or it won't work. We're hoping it works. Oh, there's some roots coming. That's what we like to see. The big 2.7 ton digger. Bit of a beast. Frankie's plant and tool hire have lent us this as well. As you can see, we're using it just to get the last bits out. I don't know if you can see that pin. Can you see that pin just there? That's pretty much where we're going to. We just need to distinguish a straight line down there. It's gonna take a bit of pulling out, this is. can see this is looking a lot better already only so much to go down here now just this side not too much more left because then it goes to a fence see where that fence is well let's get this bit out as well and boom the shrubs they've gone we've got some on here we've got a pile over there we're almost ready to start fencing round about the telegraph pole all the way down to around about that electric gate there that big concrete post that's going to be on the inside of our fencing eventually that's all getting changed but for the time being they're staying so around about where the digger bucket is now that's where we're going to start fencing to and then it angles off a little bit differently towards the garage you can sort of see straight line angles off to the garage so we'll start fencing pretty pretty soon and by the way, that's an alleyway there. That is all of the council's land. You can see it runs all the way down the back of the fencing. So we're not taking all of that before anyone says we left some. So we're just having some lunch now. 
me, Finn, and Big J Jizzle are going to start some fencing. We're not going to show you the start of the fencing. We'll show you once we're a few bays in. So we can actually make some progress for this customer. And I don't know if I've mentioned this customer. I don't think he'll mind me saying his name, James. He's a YouTube subscriber, he watches our videos. So that's how we got this job. Thank you for watching those videos to James and to everyone. Just appreciate it so much, honestly. It means so much to us. Just a down to earth couple guys, family business. And everyone likes watching us, so we do appreciate that. But anyway, we've made an impact all the way down here. That one's coming out as well, just not doing that right now. Might as well do that when we get to it. Dad's just bringing the digger around because my dad and Taff are going to start battling some of these stumps. Some of these big boys. And as you can see, someone's been here previously and cut a load of these conifers down. I'll just show you a picture on the screen of what this was looking like a couple weeks back. As you can see, quite a big set of conifers there. All of these stumps need coming out. We're not actually putting our fence in line with the stumps, we're just taking them out. Our fence will run off that wall right there. Quite a distance back from the fence, but they do start to taper in. And you can see down there at that wall, there's a few stumps down there. And none of this ground is level. Absolutely none of this ground is level. Look at the ground level of the grass right there. And I'll get down a bit. Wow. We have got to dig, or well, my dad has got to dig quite a lot of ground out of here. Hopefully some of these stumps come out. I think a lot of them are going to be a ball ache. Now then, as to the inert waste that we're going to get from all of this and the stumps, I believe the stumps will just go around in a pile somewhere. The actual ground and the soil is going to be filling in this pond. So we won't be taking anything away. Well, let's have a look to see if we can get a stump out. Oh my God. I think my dad is gonna have to dig around, sort of like that, like my rab. I'm cheesing like mayonnaise. <laughs> so I think he may have to start digging the ground out first, sort of like release the roots a little bit. Stand around for a couple minutes and see if I can get one out on camera, and then we'll set you up for a time lapse. And you'll be able to see my dad and Taff get these out. Because no matter what, we're coming out. We don't get beat at D&J projects. We're getting them out. Oh, baby. It's going to take a bit of wiggling. But there's the first one out. Set you up for a time lapse. And hopefully they can get more out. <laughs> Just getting that out now, working our way around it. And look what Taff's found. He's only going to find an electric cable, Anna. It? It's like my service locator. So we're thinking that feeds this pond here. So we'll have to dig around that, wait till the customer comes back, make sure it's isolated. Well, that stump is massive. So that's another stump part. There it is there. The customer's gonna get this disconnected because it's wrapped around that tree stump. So we can rip that out tomorrow. Grade all this off. And then all we've got in this back section is all these. All the way down. Like right, I so say, majority of that, that one is definitely in line. And then, gotta rip all that edge out down there, the edge going across. But yeah, it's coming on. Good progress for the first day. Let's go see what Stevie's doing. And what Stevie's doing is he's going home. I'm going to show you what we've been doing today whilst my dad and Taff getting those tree trunks out. And we'll film some fencing tomorrow. So we'll see you in the morning. Good morning. It's Tuesday morning. It's a little bit fresh today as well. A little bit fresh. 
we started fencing, me, Finn and Big J, at two o'clock yesterday and we had to stop at four because of the sunlight. It just disappeared. It got dark real, real quick. I'll just show you what this was looking like before. As you can see, that's a big ass hedge. And now it looks a million times better already. I'm not gonna lie. This is what it looks like right now. Have a look at that, eh? Managed to get seven bays in yesterday. The plan for today, I really want to get down to that garage down there. It's only going to be me and Finn on this one because Taff and Big J, they're going to be fencing in front of that conifer just there. Maybe that shrub's in the way. I'm not too sure. If so, we'll dig it out. We'll use the hedge cutters because it's only skinny stuff. We'll get that out of the way. What do you reckon of this then? And by the way, that panel up there, that's just a blockage right now. We will be putting a proper panel in there. But have a look at this, eh? Oh, not too shabby indeed. We've got quite a bit. What we'll do, we'll have a coffee. Because the customer, James, he's brought us some mugs. He's brought us some coffee. There's a kettle here in this garage that's bigger than my ass. <laughs> uh, there. So we'll have this coffee. And get cracked on. So then, me and Finn, we've been busy on three bays. I'll just show you right now. There's a three bays. Scaffolders are here now, taking down the scaffolding because the roofers are done. We've done this one, this one, and this one. And we're working our way down there. So when we get to that electric cable, we'll catch back up. Boom, there we have it. This one is looking not too shabby indeed. I was about that for a bit of a fencing install. Definitely, not too shabby. We're not the only ones doing a bit of fencing now as well. Taff and Big J are here now, and they're starting with that fencing. You know that one that I mentioned earlier about the conifers? They've started that one just now. And my dad and Jordan are actually in the back as well. I believe my dad's filming, so we'll have a look what he's doing a little bit later. But Taff and Big J are here now. Remember those shrubs that were here earlier? Well, my dad's got rid of them on the digger. You can just see him working away down there right there. But he's put them there so Taff and Big J can distinguish a fencing line, which they've done just there. And now they're fencing. They're putting a five foot fence up here. So what we're gonna do, they're gonna work all the way down to that string line, just where the conifers have been cut. And we've put a corner in here, because eventually, Probably not today. We're going to concentrate on the main parts of the fence. And these are the smaller jobs that take a bit of time. And we need all the time we can to get all the fencing down there. But all of this rockery will be coming out of the way. And I'll be putting a panel in there. Just up to the uh, the metal fence, basically. Just so that the dog can't get out. Exactly what we'll be doing over there as well. But these are time-consuming jobs. We don't actually see much for it. So that's why we're concentrating on the fencing like that. But yeah, this one's gonna look nice as well when this one's in. Again, they wanna keep these conifers, so that's what the, that's why they're staying. The gardener is actually coming back to finish trimming these. I believe he's just trimmed them out of the way so we can actually get a fence line in, so we very much appreciate that. But that's the line they're working to right up and close to these conifers. That's what we like to see. My dad's actually dug a little bit out here as well on the digger. And remember, all of that right there, those shrubs, they're all coming out. These trees are actually coming out as well. And when I say trees, I don't mean this one here, this tiny one. I mean this monster of a conifer and the porcupine looking tree behind it. They're all coming out, but not by us. So that fence will go all the way down. It won't finish there. It will go to the wall. And then that fence will go all the way down there. I'm not sure what line that one's going to take because the hedgerow goes all like that. It may look a bit weird if we do the fence like that, I'm not going to lie. But what we're going to do, we're going to speak to this customer, James. We're going to speak to the neighbour. We're going to set the pins in. We're going to set the line out. Make sure that both sets of neighbours are absolutely 100% happy with where we'll put the fence. And then we'll go from there, right? Maybe a bit of compromising on that one. But we will find out when it's all dug out. As I mentioned, Dad battling them roots over there. We've not seen any fencing be installed yet. 
and we've done a lot. So let's set you up for a time lapse and work our way down to that garage. I'm thinking me and Finn deserve a lunch break. So that's what we're gonna do. So morning, we're back on this job and what a mammoth of a job it is. You seen what I did last night? Let me just show you again. We tackled that big tree stump there, which is there. There's another one just there and going further down. We couldn't tackle this one anymore because of this cable. Now the customer has had this cable disconnected. That was to the old pond, which is under there now. Yeah, it's a mammoth of a task. I've got the task of pulling all the stumps out. Stevie and Taff are fencing. Taff's just through there, over there. Stevie's making his way down here to this garage. I've got Jordan with me today. And what we're gonna do first, we're gonna fill this hole in with the earth I took out, try and level it off a bit. And then we're gonna jump on that big stump there and get that one out. We have that lunch. I'm sure my dad's shown you the route and I think I have myself. Well, he's been at it for a while now, dad. And let me just show you what it's looking like. Oh my God. That is a big, big route. Having to dig all the way around it, to try and release it a little bit. Look at that. I know Jordan's not the tallest, well, he's almost gone. <laughs> so, uh, dad on the digger, obviously. All of this has come out pretty much from that. It's unreal. It's a monster. And you want to know the worst thing? Like my dad just said, it's directly in the fence line. Yes, possibility that we would have missed it between the two six foot panels. But we like to do things right around here at d &J Projects. You should know that by now. So it's coming out. And like I said yesterday, we will not be defeated. It's gonna come out. Once that one's out, it's just these small ones. Maybe that one will be a bit of a pain, but I think these ones will come out quite easy. And then my dad's gonna level all this. I think I've told you before. But we've still got some work to do here. But first, a little bit of love. God. I think the roots were gone a long time. I think it was just the clay. Don't know how we're gonna get it out. Looks like an asteroid. It's a big boy. But she's out. We don't get defeated, do we Jordan? Definitely don't. <laughs> Still not had them wraps either yet. I was too intrigued in this. So I'm gonna have them wraps and I'm gonna crack on with that
So that's the hole. I'm going to blade all this off now. Fill this hole in. Let's go and have a look at that stump now. It's that. It's a big boy. It's a 2.7 ton digger. And it's lifting it. So it is a monster. So I'll probably have to roll that around to the front so we can get it on the grab. But we'll grade some of this soil off now, fill that hole in, and then we'll start pulling them stumps out there. So the hole's filled up now, roughly. We'll need to track back over it. The ground's not very good here, it's full of bricks. But it's a waste of time making it all good yet until we take the remainder of them stumps out there. But they are right in the fence line, so every one of them's got to come out. And then this big mound, it's manded up. He wants that leveling off. And it's straight through behind the digger. But me and Jordan are going to go and do a grab and deliver it. So we'll take you on the ride for that. So lunch is pretty much done now. To show you what Taff and Big J have been doing. Splendid job of fencing. There we have it. Running down the hill. Almost getting to some kind of level down there. It continues running down in all fairness. Not too leveled, but not as steep as that. But not too shabby indeed. We'll catch up with these guys a little bit later. And now for the fencing, me and Finn have done. Not looking too shabby. To be fair, these first seven bays is what me, Finn and Big J did. So from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That one there in the center of the screen is where we stopped yesterday. This is what me and Finn have done so far. 12 bays today and it's only just gone half past one. We're not messing about today. Not messing at all. What do you reckon to that? Fencing is coming along very nicely. Needed a corner post and we would have got that last bay in there, but I haven't got one today. But no worry, we bring one tomorrow and we continue. So let's have another look. Not too shabby indeed. To say there was a massive hedge about six foot wide running all the way down here just yesterday. Not looking too shabby indeed. Let's go and see what Big J Jizzle and the main man Taff have been up to. It must be hard stuff because Taff's had to come and get the bar. You only get that bar out when it's bloody rock hard. So uh, he must be having a rough one right now. But fencing ain't looking too shabby itself. Remember earlier how we said it was, um, it was quite a steep incline up there, but it sort of tapered out a little bit. Drops are going to around about an inch, around about a baton's worth. Not looking too bad indeed. To say these lads turn up later because it was on deliveries this morning, I smashed it, absolutely smashed it. That's what we're after. Tomorrow, that'll be going all the way down to the end. Me and Finn will finish that tomorrow morning and then me and Finn will be over on this side. Another mammoth of a task of fencing. Probably going to take all day to rip that out and then we'll have to distinguish a line because like we said earlier it's bloody all like that but we'll get it cracked on anyway for myself from finn from taff and from big j jizzle that's enough for us today 
I'm going to help these boys for the last 10 minutes and then I'm going to go back to the yard. So we'll see you bright and early in the morning. So we're here, we dropped. Sharp sand off there. We've got this to grab. Just dropping some sleepers. I've already started. So let's get this on and gone. All nice and cleaned up, bags dropped, we're our good friends and not only landscape services. So me and Jordan, if we get enough time now, I've got to screen that off and see what we can get out of it. Good morning, it's Wednesday morning and we are back on the massive fencing job and it's looking very, very nice indeed. I know I showed you yesterday, but it was a little bit darker as you can see we've made our way all the way down to that garage we've brought ourselves a nice corner post so we can actually finish it down at the bottom today we won't actually be putting the panels in because i'm going to get jamie to make them rather than having to customize some of the normal size panels we're actually going to get them custom made so we'll have a corner pretty much where that brown fence is finishing and we'll return that panel into the garage and obviously there's a mammoth task over there all of those shrubbies down that side i believe they're coming out today or at least most of it so we can start fencing down that way yeah not looking too shabby so we're going to get cracked on get started and this is what we're starting with here and we're going to use magic fingers for this this isn't going to be too interesting so we'll get this in with these fingers here and there we have the corner post the inter on the wall the gravel board sitting nice and level with each other i'm going to send those two custom panels to jamie he's going to make them and we'll get them slid in tomorrow. There's no point going back to the yard for those two panels when we've got plenty to be getting on with at this garden. So then, what's the plan now? Well, there's been a little bit of a change with the panel up this side. I'm just gonna show you that now. So you see this panel here in the corner. You can see that we've put a corner post in, right? I'm gonna to return to just there pretty much. I was gonna put an inter, which is one of these, just straight down there but these electric gates they're coming out they're getting moved they're actually going to be moved across a little bit i believe because all of this driveway is going to be getting done so spoke to the customer rather than struggle to get one of those inters next to this steel post and be struggling to dig down there what we're going to do we're just going to get a timber wall plate and screw it to this steel here one there one down there just two screws because it's only temporary we're also going to be doing that over here but the gap's going to be tiny because you can see where Taff and Big J Jizzle have put that corner post in. Well, whilst they're messing around with the fencing down there, which I'll show you in a sec, I'm going to cut this conifer back a little bit. Nothing too crazy there because the guys are coming to cut this soon. I'm going to move some of this rockery out of the way. Just, I don't know where, just pile it up somewhere. And me and Finn are going to dig a hole around about here. And we're going to get this bay in here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put a five foot panel in here but then we're going to have one custom made i believe possibly anyway because that's five foot but i'm going to put six foot in to match the steel post and even though this steel is coming out that one over there is going to be six foot off the ground so when this is moved eventually at least the symmetry is still there from six foot to six foot and then whatever this customer decides to do with these gates new electric gates however they want to do them they can match them off to six foot six foot because you can see that that is six foot fencing but the customer only wanted a five foot fence in there. So what I'll do, I'll put the gravel board in the same, but I'll just put a normal 6b5 in. It's gonna look weird to this post, but we then can get a sloper. You see the angle from that post to the steel? We'll get it somewhere around the back there. This is taller than six foot, so I'm only gonna go to around about here anyway to sort of match that one. But that's what we're gonna be doing. And as for the fencing that Taff and Big J are doing, this is what they've done so far. I believe they can only get one more bay in. So that's what they're going to do because then we really need my dad to get here and start taking out some of these shrubberers. But again, this is another fencing install that isn't looking too shabby indeed. It'd have been amazing to get all of that level, but the ground is not level and you would have had one gravel board there 
and about three or four gravel boards high over here. It'll look stupid. So sometimes you just got to go with the ground that you've got, but not looking too shabby at all. So we've been busy. We've managed to get that post in right there. We've put the gravel board in nice and ready. I've sent Jamie the measurement for this fence panel here. It's a sloper from there to there. Reason I did that is so that that six foot post there sort of lines up with that one there, sort of gone to the top of this rail here, you see? That one there, that one there. Done that so the curb appeal looks good. Now we're waiting for my dad. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get rid of all of that green netting that goes all the way down because the next stage of this job is to rip that hedge down and get some fencing. He's arrived. Hopefully you can see him. He's in the digger. Let's get some of these bloody shrubs out of the way. So we're working our way down. All of that is coming out as well, but I don't think we're gonna do that part today. We need to concentrate on getting down to the end of that wall, pretty much where that tall one is here, that tree. That's where we need to get to today, really. The lads are up there, just started to dig a hole up there, because that's where our first post is pretty much gonna go. It's a bit of a weird setup up there because the fencing that we were asked to do originally, this one, that returns down, but then the fencing, this one here, starts a tiny bit further back, like three foot. So there'll be a small custom bay there, and then the six foot bays will start working the way all the way down there. I don't know if you can see, but this ground here is a lot higher than that ground there. I'll try and show you. So I'm at the ground now, and you can sort of see that it's a bit banked up. It banks up that way, it banks up this way. So these guys over here have asked if we'd be able to sort of level it off. Of course, that means that if we're gonna level off from here, the grass is gonna be taken away. So we'll put the ditching bucket on, my dad will, and take away pretty much all of that and scrape it that way. That's what we're pretty much gonna do. But as you can see, we're making a little bit of progress. Let's get this down because it's in our way. And it's all gone. See you in the morning. Good morning. It's Thursday morning, and we are off to the fencing job. We've had to get rid of the tipper van for the time being because it's had some damage. Someone drove into us, so it's going for a bit of repair. Good news, we got a higher van. Here she is, a lot newer than ours. Still a tipper as well, though, so that's a bonus. So business can carry on as normal. What you reckon? Not looking too shabby. Maybe we need to buy a new one. All in good condition. A few little scratches and that, but it's a work vehicle, right? It's gonna have them. You can also see right here, little dent in there where the tailboards come down and they've been crushing it on that, on that tow bar. But all looks good. And just for the curious ones, it's a little bit different to ours inside. Maybe we'll get one soon. Let's get to that fencing job. So then, we're back. We're back on the fencing job. Taff and the lads, they've slid in the panels that I had Jamie make yesterday. And it just finishes off the fencing. Very, very nice. I'll just show you now. So you remember, we came all the way down and we used the magic fingers to put that post in right there. But now look at that, with the panels, looking very, very nice. Kept these two panels pretty much the same height because it was on the return anyway. I probably could have put that panel there at the same height as this one, but I didn't fancy doing that because we've gradually stepped it down all the way. So when we was digging the trench for that gravel board, I said to Finn, you know what, we'll step that one as well because 
as you look at the fencing from a little bit further away, let me just zoom it back in so it's clear, you can see the all step up and I thought that would look better. Who knows, I'm sure you'll let me know in the comments if I'm right or wrong. <laughs> but uh, what do you think to this one? It's a bloody big one, eh? Goes quite far. And guess what? Well, you already know actually, all the shrubs are gone. So let me go and show you the line that we're going to be going with because the customer and the neighbor, I believe they've agreed now. So I'll show you the exact line we're going with. And I'll tell you something, this is a big, big fence install as well. It's going to look bloody nice though. And compared to the shrubs that were here, oh, it's going to look nice. If you could all do me a favor and smash the like button, these fence installs, they've got to deserve a like, right? hope so anyway so that's where we're starting from and that's at the right height this is five foot that's a foot above we're going to six foot just got to dig our trench to make sure everything fits right now you can see where the shrub used to be you see how it does that curves around the drive and goes down so we set our string line up and originally i pulled it all the way over to around about there give or take the garden is absolutely massive so unless i'm going to be running 100 meters up and down the garden to show you everything <laughs> you're gonna have to see where my finger points but rather than follow the contour of the garden where it all swerves around what we're going to do seeing as both customers have agreed we're just going to go with one straight line all the way so it looks like this customer's losing a bit here and gaining a bit there because if you have a look can you see that tree stump well that was sort of the middle of the boundary hedge but look at the string line it's on the right hand side so what this customer has lost this way is gained this way so i believe there's probably been a little bit of a compromise and they've agreed that yeah i've gained some i've lost some but you've gained some and you've lost some so and let's be honest it's going to look a hell of a lot better going in a straight line than all like this. I mentioned it earlier in the video that I'm not 100% sure I'm doing it on the dodgy lines, but I would have done whatever these customers wanted. You know, I will do what they want. I'll probably tell them they can have too much. <laughs> so, <laughs> but to so this string line, this is a uh, back of post, so our post would go there. But when we put this up yesterday, I already said this needs to be over here somewhere. I was going to go around about here, so I was going to go there, but I've been informed we're going to go center. So the the post will fit center so this will sit in that mortar line there pretty much so it'll be right there and then it will return all the way down there to that white post and i'm going to use a couple pins all the way through so that the line isn't all slacked i want to make sure i've got a nice tight line so that when the fencing is standing straight it looks bloody straight just like the one over there and i'll show you that now Oh, as well, it's a bit of a talkative start today, but I'm sure you don't mind. Wednesday's video went live yesterday, seeing as it's Thursday today. It's doing really well. Seems that you like to see the behind the scenes of how D&J just keeps ticking along. Because they're not pretty jobs, but the jobs that need doing. So seeing as you like that sort of stuff, we'll bring you along for Saturdays, another maintenance job. Obviously, you'll see it next Wednesday. Should be a fun one, so something else to look forward to. See the fence? Have a look at that for as straight as an arrow. Look at that. That ain't bloody too shabby if I say so myself. See? So, we'll start cracking on. Grading are a few levels. He's going to work his way all the way down there. Of course, we're not going to get this absolutely pinpoint level across. That's not possible with the little dig out that we're doing. See, we're only taking a little bit here. It was just us from this neighbor here. So we're, just, we're pretty much just doing it. So it's just mainly these bits. You see where the grass lips up, just taking it away a little bit. And then obviously we'll get that string line all set. And we'll start cracking on with some fencing. I will carry you home. I will carry you home. 
not looking too shabby so far. We've got a long way to go. Time for a bit of lunch. So we've had some lunch. We've still got a bloody long way to go. The fence is up there. It's coming all the way down here. To that wall. It's a good few bays, this one. Taff and Big J, the fence in at the back. I'll show you that a little bit later. But for the time being, I'm gonna transfer over to my dad he wants to try something. Welcome back. Me and Jordan have been busy. Let's show you what we've been up to. We've got all them stumps out. And now Taft and Big J Jizzle are fencing up behind us. And they're putting it in nice and level. And then we're going to bring some more the soil back and grade it all off to this level. And he's going to take it all the way down to there and then return back to that wall. So while they crack on with that and catch up to the end of that line i'll show you what we're going to be up to me and jordan are going to get this stump out put you on a time lapse but what we want you to do we want you to have a guess how long it's going to take us to get this stump out and the closest one or the one that gets it bang on right time will get a not too shabby cup from me and steve so good luck and let's get digging so ready Steady. Go. So it's out, it is out. Jordan just pressed stop on the stopwatch. So have a guess, comment down below. Like I say, the nearest one, or the one that gets it on the nose, will win a not too shabby cup. So now me and Jordan are gonna come round on this area and level this soil off so Taft can continue heading towards that wall. Been counting down the days, counting down the days to get out. I've been looking for a way, looking for a way from this town. And you're too far away, you're too far away to help me now. So I'm counting down the days, counting down the days to get out. Cause I need to learn to forget everything that drags me down. That's another day for D&J. 
We'll see you in the morning. See you in the morning. Good morning. Friday morning. We've got that Friday feeling. Starting to look nice, this. Shrubs have been moved, so I'll show you a bit of fencing. There's the five foot tall fencing. There'll be a panel joining those two, and then there's a panel that returns a little bit further back. That fencing starts a little bit further back. That's what we did yesterday. Worked our way all the way down, just past those conifers. And this is the fence that Big J and Taff were up to yesterday. Looking very nice indeed. Lovely and level. That's exactly what we wanted for the back of the garden. Not too shabby indeed. To say there were stumps here just a day ago and somewhere around here, there was that massive stump, that one over there. They're smashing it. Looking very, very nice. I'm sure the customers are very happy with this one. But we've still got a big day of fencing ahead of us. So we're setting everything out now, getting ready so we can attack the day. I will just show you what me and Finn are going to be cracking on with today. Half and Big J are going to be returning up to that wall and finishing that. And then I believe they'll be jumping on with me right here. So we've still got quite a bit to go all the way down to this wall right there. So there's 13 bays up there, full bays. And that's probably longer here. So let's talk in a bit more action. Everything inside me now. looking too shabby starting to level these last few panels off so we've leveled all four off now because the ground's actually allowed us to do that we'll only naturally drop the panels if the ground doesn't allow us sometimes obviously you can prop the gravel boards up but unless you're using two maybe three gravel boards per section it's not worth it and sometimes that's not always what's been asked for we're just following it all the way down now and we're almost getting to that wall down there. Lads are just working away down there now, hopefully getting that finished today. My dad and Jordan have arrived and are about to start taking this big ass stump all the way to the front of the garden to where the grab is there. It's a bit of a task, but he's gonna get it done. He's moved it just over there, look. Knew he'd get it up there somehow. They've almost done as well. I feel like I haven't filmed much today. I've just been trying to crack on with the lads. But what we're going to do now, we're going to go to a two gravel board setup because the ground difference between the neighbor and the customer's garden is quite substantial now. You can get away with everything being nice and level there. But now we sort of need to do something about it. Look at the difference. So what we're going to do, we're going to pull some earth away. All of this is in the way anyway of these shrubs. So we need to get them out of the way anyway. But we're also going to take a little bit of earth because we're actually going to double gravel board these. So this fence would look like seven foot from this area, but still six foot from next door. Just think that'll be better as a bit of a retainer because obviously the soil level is a lot higher. So we're basically just going for a little bit of a retainer here. Obviously all of this garden is going to be landscaped. But if we can keep our fencing nice and level till the end now, I think we'll do that. The truth is a damn hard pill to swallow I'm reaching out, but all I feel is hollow I want to make you work, but all I do is make you worse The truth is a damn hard pill to swallow
so close yet so far just haven't got enough panels on us right now to fill that in so what we'll do we'll use that panel there to block that off so the neighbor can let their dog out over the weekend there's a few custom panels that we need for this job it's a little bit dark so i'm sorry for the grainy footage but we're going to be back here next week anyway so i will show you what this is looking like in the day with some proper daylight not too shabby though right that isn't the only fencing that was getting done today. Taff and Big J have been on the back and I'll just show you that now. Just need one custom panel for that. So this is the back. Not too shabby indeed. Just need a custom panel for there. So we'll just walk up this side now. As you can see, it's quite a lot of fencing. The camera's making it look a lot lighter than it actually is. It's actually quite dark, but we're walking all the way up. I'm not actually sure how many bays this is. I'll have a count and I will show you. Obviously the fencing comes all the way over and there's that five foot fence on the front. Just to get rid of the dead conifer look at the bottom where all the trunks are, all the way round. And then back to where it all started on Monday beginning of the week when me and Finn smash this fencing out. Oh, I'm Big J for the first seven bays here. Not too shabby indeed. I'll have a count up and I'll let you know how many bays this fencing job has been. So I've just had a count up and at the start of the week, we said it was around about 85 bays, give or take. And I've had a walk around and it's 85 bays on the nose. That's crazy it was a little awkward to measure but we must have done something right we'll catch up a little bit later just sorting out everything and we'll catch up probably back at the yard so that's another week at d and j we've done a massive fencing job we're so close to getting that one complete all it needs is a big tidy up and two specials but we'll complete that next week and we'll show you that full project and we'll get the drone out and fly it over and show you how big that property really is but that said this is another hard week at dj projects we'll see you in the next one